Hi, I'm Caitlin, and in this Lens Studio tutorial, we're going to cover how to use the Custom Segmentation Template. The Custom Segmentation Template demonstrates an example of how you can apply an effect to a certain part of the screen based on a mask. Unlike the Segmentation Template, which utilizes the built-in segmentation texture, this template gets its segmentation mask from a machine learning model through the ML component. The ML component allows you to extend Lens Studio beyond what it comes with. Like other templates using the ML component, to fully customize this lens, you can bring in your own model. To help you get started, this template comes with an example model. Take a look at the Lens Studio website where we provide example code and a walkthrough on how you can make your own model. To get started, first, open Lens Studio 3.0 and select the custom segmentation template. By default, the template comes with an example model for creating a mask on pizzas. But you can use this template to help you use your own segmentation ML model. To bring your own model into Lens Studio, drag and drop the model into the resources panel. Next, we'll tell the template to use this model. In the objects panel, select ML component. Then in the inspector panel, click on the field next to the model. And then in the pop-up window, choose your newly imported model. You should now see the preview panel showing the heat effect on the area that is segmented by the model. You can see in the ML component that in the output section, it provides a texture. Since we're using a segmentation model, this texture will output a segmentation mask. This texture can be used in any way that textures are used. In this case, it is being used by a graph materials to create heat waves, as well as changing the color of pixels that are not pizza. You can see first-hand output texture by displaying it on an image. To do this, in the Objects panel, press the plus button and select Screen Image. Then, select the new screen image in the Objects panel, and in the Inspector panel, select the Texture field. In the pop-up window, choose the output texture provided by the ML component. Cool! It looks like other segmentation textures that allow us to mask things. One common way of using segmentation is using it as a camera mask. By setting it as the camera mask, it will set the opacity of everything rendered by this camera based on the color value of the segmentation texture. So let's say we added a color filter effect. To do this, in the objects panel, press plus, hover over color correction, and choose one of the color corrections. You can see this affects the whole screen. If we select the camera object, which renders the color correction object, you can see that it has a mask texture field. Select that mask texture field, and in the pop-up window, select the texture provided by our model. Nice! Now you can see that the effect is only applied around the segmented pizza area. You can do a lot of things with a segmentation texture, as it allows you to apply effects to a specific area. Take a look at the blur material and heat distortion material in the resources panel to take a look at an example of how a segmentation texture could be used to create different effects using a shader made with the material editor. Click on materials on resource panel once to modify their parameters on the inspector panel or double click to open the material editor to see how the effect is made. Take a look at the Material Editor Overview Guide on the Lens Studio website to see how you can make your own effects that can leverage a segmentation texture. Now that we can see our segmented effect, we're ready to preview and submit our lens. To preview the lens in Snapchat, click Pair Your Device in the top right corner of Lens Studio. Then, open Snapchat and scan the provided snap code. Once Snapchat and Lens Studio are connected, press the Push Lens to Device button. You can now preview your lens in Snapchat. This lens is now ready for submission. For more information on submitting your lens, follow the submission guide in the Lens Studio documentation. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your own lenses using the custom segmentation template.